Hey guys, I think we all know how important it is to capture great audio for our videos, but the truth is that it's not always possible. There are scenarios where you can't turn off an air conditioning in a commercial building, or um, you can't turn down the outside noise of wind or different things happening around you. So what do you do when you've already captured your video and you wanna get rid of some of that background noise? In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how easy it is in Premiere Pro to get rid of some of that excess background noise in your videos. Once we've opened up Premiere Pro, the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that your essential sound panel is open. And if you don't see it, go up here to window and click on essential sound. Now you'll see some options open up over here. And first you wanna make sure that the clip you want to adjust is selected. The audio track is selected down here. You can edit one clip or multiple clips at one time. And once you've selected that, you'll see that we have all these different options up here. In this case, we are editing dialogue. So I'm gonna click on dialogue and now you see some more options open up. And the first thing that we want to do is make sure that our volume level is correct before we start any edits on our audio clip. So if I just play this back, I'll show you how to tell where your volume is hitting. And right here, we can see with these audio meters that our sound is falling right around negative 12 and that's exactly where we want it to be. You don't want your audio coming anywhere close to zero and you want it at least hitting between negative 15 and negative 12. So we'll leave ours alone. If you don't see these audio meters right here, navigate up to window and just make sure that audio meters are checked right there. If you do need to adjust the volume of your clip, it's very easy to do in the essential sound panel. You can simply select the audio track down here and hit auto match um, for volume, or you can click this level down here and adjust how high your volume is as a whole. I'm gonna leave mine where it is right now, and let's walk through what some of these options are. So loudness is okay, next option is repair, and that's the one that we are gonna focus on in this video. I'm gonna play back and let you hear a little bit of the background noise that's happening in this clip, and what happens if we adjust some of these parameters? So the first one that we're focusing on is called reduce noise. And this is probably where you would want to start for most background ambient noise. In this clip, you'll hear some just wind and air. A lot of times if you're inside, you'll hear air conditioning, just that constant quiet noise in the background, sometimes called room tone. That's what we're talking about here. And as a rule of thumb, what I always do is I start at zero, I begin playing my clip back and as I listen to the clip, I adjust just a little bit at a time with all of these effects, although they do a great job of getting rid of that background noise, they also are going to affect the way that your subject's voice sounds. So the higher you go with these effects, the more artificial the voice is going to sound. So less is always more. Um, listen and get the right balance of you want to stop right when the voice starts to sound unnatural. Of course, we wanna get rid of that background noise, so there is a balance here, but let's just listen to the clip and I'm gonna let you hear the difference in all of these different levels. Guys, here's a quick example of what it sounds like. So starting out, you can hear background noise. Like just with me Slide talking out. Background noise is gone, but voice still sounds natural. Outside, I wanted to give us an example to play with in Premiere Pro. Hopefully we can- And if we keep going, you can hear that voice becoming more and more artificial and sounding unnatural. Even though the background noise is gone, we want the voice to sound normal. You hear a little bit of ambient noise from the wind and just things going on around us that... Um, Let's take it back down and I'll let you hear it again. Um, I wanna show you quickly in Premiere Pro how we can use the essential sound panel to fix some of those issues and maybe take away some of that background noise. And Okay, moving on down the list here, you also see reduce rumble. This clip does not have a lot of wind noise in the background, but if you did have a lot of wind in your clip, this would be the effect you would want to try on that clip. Um, and it works the same way. Once you start playing your clip, you can just start from zero and apply as much as you need in order to get rid of that wind noise. Um, this would also work if you have a subject that's wearing a microphone or a lapel and it might be rumbling against their clothing um, or just causing some kind of scratching noises that are kind of low and distracting. Um, use this effect and see if that can get rid of that noise for you. D-hum works in exactly the same way as the others. It gets rid of those really low frequencies that are sometimes caused by 
computers running in the background, machinery, things like that, that might have a really low frequency. I'm going to take these off for this clip um, just because we didn't have that in here and show you these last two effects. DS is just what it sounds like. Sometimes with a mic that's really close to your subject, you can get those very harsh S sounds and those can be distracting. So using the DS effect, we'll get rid of a lot of that really strong S sound. Reduce reverb is what you might want to use in a room where you have a little bit of echo going on. If you don't have sound panels or blankets or anything like that to get rid of that echo as you're recording, this is a really helpful tool to get rid of some of that excess echo that can make your audio sound a little bit more amateur. So using this effect can really help you to have a little bit more polished and professional sound to your audio clips. Okay, now that we've gone over the easiest and most straightforward way to adjust some of that background noise that you're getting in your clips, I want to show you um, not a harder way to do it, but just a way that is a little bit more in depth and can give you a little bit more control over those clips if you still have some problem background noise in the background and you want to work on it even further. So what I'm going to do is just take off what we've done here and um, delete that over here and show you how to do this. So we don't need the essential sound panel over here. We're going to do this through our effect controls. So you want to make sure that your clip is selected and we're going to go over here to effects and I'm going to start typing in denoise and immediately you see this denoise option pop open right here and all I'm going to do is drag that onto my clip and up here in the effect controls you're going to see that audio parameter pop up called denoise and what we want to do is hit edit and we'll see this window pop up right here. And as we play our clip back, you're gonna see these waveforms hopping around. You basically can control this effect the same way that we did before. There's a slider right here, and that's gonna control the overall amount of this effect that we're gonna be adding. But the nice thing about using this window is that you have a few more parameters that you can control. So unlike in the Essentials sound panel window where you're just controlling the overall level right here, in this window you can focus on the lower frequencies, the mid frequencies, the higher frequencies, or just the lower and higher frequencies. And um, depending on how your clip is sounding and what noise you're trying to eliminate, this can be really helpful. You can also control the gain of your clip, which means basically the sensitivity of the audio. And this is true of any of these effects that you put onto your clip over here in the essential sound panel window. I'll show you really quick. If we put D hum on our clip, you can see over here in our effect control window, it added the D hum um, parameter over here and we can edit that as well. And then you'll see right away, um, there are more parameters that you can be in control of. So although this can get confusing, um, I just wanted you guys to see how you don't just have to rely on one slider over here. If this fixes your problem, great, stick with it. That's what it's meant for. It's a really helpful tool. However, if you want to get a little bit deeper into it and you want to really polish your sound and isolate a certain noise even more, I just wanted to show you where you can play with these parameters in more specific ways and you'll have more control over um, different parameters like you see here. Okay, one last thing that I wanted to show you guys. Let's say that you've worked really hard to get your audio where you want it to be and you've made a lot of corrections and you want to save that as a preset so you can use it in the future. If you want to use it in other clips within the same project or maybe if you have a setup that you know you'll be using again and you want to save all those settings for the next video, it's really easy to do. Here's what we do. We go up here to where it says preset and we're going to click on this little icon over here to the right and we're gonna save, and this is after you've made all of your adjustments, we're gonna save um, our preset, we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna just call this one generic background noise, and then hit okay, and it saved our preset. So when you hit that drop down, you'll see in all of these options, you'll see the one that you saved right here. So once you go into your new files, you'll just click on the audio files that you want to add the preset to and you'll drop down and hit generic background noise and it's going to apply all the same settings to that clip or to multiple clips at one time. And that's it guys. That's everything I had to share with you today. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments below. Thanks guys.